I rise today to speak in favor of my amendment on House Bill 5901. My amendment would eliminate the sunset altogether, not just extend it for the statewide trauma system. House Bill 5901, as introduced, merely kicks the can down the road again, offering a short-term solution to a long-term challenge. I fully understand a well-funded trauma system is critical to our state. Trauma is the number one cause of death for many Michiganders. Our trauma system enables our communities and hospitals to coordinate care, reduce the incidence and severity of traumatic injuries, and ensuring that patients get the right care in the right hospital at the right time. The state has provided a great deal of investment in establishing our trauma system. Our trauma system is the result of 12 years of planning. And for the past five years, the system has been implemented and has been a great success. Nearly all of our eligible facilities have committed to the program. More than 600 trauma professionals through this program have helped develop training and education programs and conducted site reviews for trauma program verification. In 2017 alone, the trauma system supported 74 projects, which included uh, a distractive driving program in Southeast Michigan to reduce and prevent injuries amongst teen drivers. Other programs include uh, training bystanders on a program that was just here last week, Stop the Bleed. Funding the trauma system is especially important for rural hospitals that are chronically underfunded and don't have the resources to implement essential training programs. Now, some have suggested that the sunset should not be extended indefinitely because it comes at the expense of the Crime Victim Rights Fund. I believe that is a false choice. The May Consensus Revenue Estimating Conference demonstrated that revenues are estimated to be hundreds of millions of dollars higher than anticipated over the next three fiscal years. We have more than enough revenue to fully fund uh, both of these important programs. Our trauma system saves lives, period. This amendment ensures that our trauma system is properly funded for years to come, and I ask my colleagues for their support. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.